Welcome back to Bulahdan. You've seen the trailer of the, the new film, Arab American director, uh, uh, Shireen, and, and uh, America, which is the pronunciation, the Arab pronunciation of America. And it's just talking about uh, Arab Americans uh, life in post 9-11, uh, uh, you know, encapsulated in uh, a single mother uh, that is coming to the United States to, to, to make it in a new world. The world is full of uh, hope, potential, and also prejudice. And we have here Mohanad Ghwanma. He is, uh, you know, he's a Mizna uh, film, uh, Arab film uh, creator. He is coming very soon, and he also uh, teaches uh, film in uh, Dun Dunwoody College of Technology has been active in the Twin City film community since moving here in 2002. In addition, teaching Muhammad has acted for film most recently as a male, a male lead in feature film that he also co-produced titled Triumph 67. Welcome to Bil Ahdan, Muhammad. It's very nice to have you here. You, you know, you're a very busy man. You teach, you act, you direct, you, you have- uh, Haven't directed, produced. Produced. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you were doing some directing during that film. I can't see that. By the time I'm, I, yeah. I kick the bucket, I hope so. Okay. But uh, your interest in film, uh, you know, it's, uh, it has a history. It's been, you've been uh, interested in film a long, long t time ago. And, and I think it's fascinating, uh, the film as a medium to tell stories. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we have here uh, a second generation, a Palestinian-American, telling the Arab-American story from her own perspective. If it seems like the Arab-American story always been told by vicious, ugly people, you know, <laughs> Saddam, Qaddafi, those, those people. And also, uh, the mainstream media not doing a just for telling Arab-Americans or the other stereotyping in the mainstream films. So now we saw this new movie, uh, America, which is, uh, I, I like the title, that's how Arabs now is uh, America. Mm -hmm. So uh, how did she do? How did she tell uh, the Arab American uh, story in, in the post 9-11 uh, you know, political charge? What do you think? Post 9-11 and contemporaneous to the, uh, uh, the US invasion of, of Iraq okay. and the yes, launch yeah. of mm -hmm. the US war in Iraq. Sure. Um, how did she tell the story? Rather simply, uh, in dramatic terms, rather conventionally. Uh, she, um, what, sh what, among the many things that I think the director um, astutely decided on when she made this film was to, uh, to recognize that film is probably most effective in its emotional impact as opposed to its impact on, on our intellect mm -hmm. or on our viscera. So. Fact or documentary. Like. <clears throat> you, want, you want facts? Go read books, you know. Uh, so uh, they, they deliver yeah. um, uh, co co complex intellectual matter much more, uh, you know, I think um, with more facility. Mm -hmm. uh, realizing that uh, the um, film's uh, forte is emotional impact, she ekes out, I think, in this film as much um, uh, emotional currency from the basic uh, storyline as possible. So we see her, for example, insisting on um, uh, writing characters that, are, that never seem um, heroic mm -hmm. or villainous, mm -hmm. but rather people who are motivated by impulses, which are shared by mainstream. all humans. Yeah, really quite yeah. mainstream. Yeah. Um, uh, I think the film, in fact, mainstream is a, is a good word to describe the film. I think it's, it's a highly accessible, which might explain why it's, been, it's, it's met with such success. But it's interesting because uh, Arabs or Muslim in that uh, regard has always been showing as other super uh, victims or villain. Mm -hmm. Nothing in the middle. Not a normal, uh, so that, that's you're right. I mean, it's a, a normal, somebody struggling like any other immigrant. But it also, from here as a second generation, uh, Arab American trying to tell the story of her people uh, from her perspective, uh, y y you get the feeling also she was struggling with that. You know, is she American, is Arab, uh, an Amer you know, what is she wants to Arab to be an American or American to be Arab. I mean, and also, uh, it seems like was the audience 
clear in her mind, is this, made, is this movie w was made for American audience or, or for everybody? Else? Well, as far as uh, I saw no overt indication of some sort of tumultuous struggle mm -hmm. about identity um, channeled through the mm -hmm. film, other than in the experience, um, it, it, well, it's, it's, there's a struggle of where to live, for example, that comes up. Uh, on behalf of the protagonist's sister, who had lived in the U.S. for 15 mm -hmm. years, and, and more pronouncedly on the part of her son, who, uh, uh, while, you know, while in Palestine, was uh, prodded her, mm -hmm. uh, pleaded with her to make the move for, his, uh, for the benefit of his own future, yeah. and then upon arriving in the States and spending some time in high school and being picked on and discriminated against and feeling out of place, has a change of heart. But it never seemed like it was a, um, uh, a sort of a, um, an intrinsic um, struggle with knowing who, who we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it was more about circumstances yeah. and making best of the circumstances. And it seems like she was also oblivious to that uh, prejudice. I mean, she was just gone by, uh, by her own uh, business. She being who? I mean, the, the, the lead actor. The, protag yeah, the protagonist? Yeah. yeah. She was just going down her way, trying to make it, whatever it takes. I um, mean, she wasn't bothered a lot by, uh, you know, some of the uh, discrimination that kids have in uh, school and whatever, but she just gave on. She was very positive as dealing with the circumstances, as you're saying. But as, you say, as you're telling about the, the struggle that, uh, that the director, uh, Shireen, uh, was going through, she made some choices. She made some cho uh, choices or decisions by... First, for telling the story of a woman, single with a that's woman, right. divorce. That, that's, that's a choice that's she right. made. That's right. A Palestinian, that's another that's choice. Overweight. Overweight, that's, that's another choice. average look. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so she was intentionally trying to say something. Yes, of course. And, uh, you know, she wasn't a super beautiful, young Arab, whatever that story. But, uh, you know, what, what do you take on those choices? Uh, you know, what, what, what behind those choices that she made? Uh, also, Christian which is, I thought that was a little bit odd. Why odd? Uh, because most of the issue that Arab Americans are having here in this country, they have it because they are Muslim. Yes, but uh, I think that the... Uh, Not odd, but that's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. It, 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 uh, it's, uh, it's only brought up as um, in, in relation to another incident uh, a character, I think, says, you know, the, something about uh, about anti-Islamic activity, and she are. says, and she says, well, and we're not even Muslim. Yeah. Uh, I appreciated that it wasn't sort of shoved uh, in your face. Yes, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't uh, uh, blatantly conveyed in the film, so as to um, uh, jut out of place. Yeah. It, it 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 was smoothly and very swiftly inserted into the script. Yeah. And I think the point of it was, ignorant people often don't care about nuances and about details. Uh -huh, They're see. just looking for uh, 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 somebody to tack their frustration and their uh, antipathy on, you know? And, uh, you, you know, nuances like Iraqi or Palestinian or uh -huh. Egyptian or Christian or Muslim or, uh, you know, you're a darky and you look like the people who wear, who, who wear those turbans and carry the Kalashnikovs, mm -hmm. so you're my enemy. So the, the, she, 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 she uh, intentionally made that uh, choice. I think so. And also, I mean, it seems like, uh, did that, the fact uh, she...